Hey everybody, it's Brother Anthony. Just uh, left Wednesday night Bible study at House of Rest Church. And a lot of answers, a lot of questions were answered and a lot of things were, uh, were all the words that were spoken were just a blessing to my heart today. Well, today I want to talk about uh, meditation and a little bit of prayer. So we're going to be reading from Philippians chapter 4. Philippians chapter 4, verses 4 through 9. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I just want to thank you for the day you have given me. The love, the joy, the peace. And that stamp of approval, Lord God, that you have given me. That, that stamp, of, that seal of the Holy Spirit that you have placed upon my soul. So that um, when the time comes, you will know that I am yours. I pray for anybody who doesn't know you, Lord. That you will make yourself real to them. That you will send someone their way. Someone whom they will listen to. So that they can get right with you. I continue to lift up my family to you, Lord God, those who are who are struggling, those who are sick, those who are, are doubting you, Lord God, that you will work a miracle in their lives. I pray for anyone on the streets, Lord God, who is suffering from homelessness, from addiction, to uh, abuse, depression, loneliness, that you will continue, Lord God, to bless them and shine a light into their path. I thank you for my, my family, my House of Rest church family, uh, my, my brothers and sisters who, who continue to watch these videos, for Brother Felix for continuing to lift me in prayer, and Lord God, I just know that you hear the, the, you hear the prayers of the righteous, and I just thank you for this, uh, the love that you have shown me through many other people, Lord. I pray that anybody who's watching this video who doesn't know you, Lord God, that you will open their hearts. You will take out that heart of stone and replace it with a heart of flesh. You know, Ezekiel 20, Ezekiel 36, 26, I believe. And Lord God, we just continue to love you, magnify you, and praise you. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Philippians 4, verse 4. I'm going to read from the New King James Version and then from the New Living Translation. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say rejoice. Let your gentleness be known to all men. The Lord is at hand. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God, and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Finally, brethren, Whatever things are true, whatever things are noble, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are of good report, if there is any virtue and if there is anything praiseworthy, meditate on these things. The things which you learned and received and heard and saw in me, these do, and the God of peace will be with you. Good stuff right there. I'm going to read it one more time from the NLT. Always be full in the Lord. I say it again, rejoice. Let everyone see that you are considerate in all you do. Remember, the Lord is coming soon. Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank Him for all He has done. Then you will experience God's peace, which exceeds anything we can understand. His peace will guard your hearts and minds as you live in Christ Jesus. And now, dear brothers and sisters, one final thing. Fix your thoughts on what is true and honorable and right and pure and lovely and admirable. Think about things that are excellent and worthy of praise. Keep putting into practice all you learned and received from me. 
everything you heard from me and saw me doing, then the peace, then the God of peace will be with you. You know, uh, there's a verse in Proverbs that says something about whatever's in a man's heart reflects that man. You know, and there's only one way that things can get into your heart is by thinking them. You know, if I dwell on something so long, it's going to eventually seep into my heart and I'm going to start believing these, uh, whatever I I put my mind on. You know, uh, it's time to stop believing lies. You know, the devil wants nothing more than to get your mind off off of Christ. You know, he doesn't want he wants you to keep you in that state that you're in. You know, he wants to keep you at a standstill. He wants you to be that idle Christian who's doing nothing for God's kingdom. You know, if the devil's not attacking you, that means that you don't, you don't, you oppose no threat to him. You know, if the if if your mind's not uh not right with Christ, the devil's gonna use every tool that he can to to take you down. You know, so it says here, rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say rejoice. Rejoice, rejoice, rejoice. Let your gentleness be known to all men, for the Lord is coming soon. You know, be gentle to everyone you come in contact with. Even the people who who, who seek you harm. You know, um, that's one of the biggest things, like in my past... I, I I lived around a lot of violence. I, I surrounded myself with a lot of things that 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 brought violence around and 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 things just just a violent atmosphere, you know. And uh and now that I'm walking with the Lord, I see that um that I need to be gentle towards all, you know, not be puffed up, not use my my height and my and my size as a weapon, you know, because I used to be an intimidator. I used to intimidate people into into getting what I wanted, you know. But now I use my I use this temple that that God has given me as a tool to to reach other people, you know. People listen to 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 what I want to what I want to say, you know, like um. I love it that I'm a I'm a Sunday school teacher, you know, for the children's ministry, you know, and I have all these little kids looking up to me, you know, and uh and and I could be myself. Oh, some fireworks! I could be myself, you know, and uh and I can teach other people. I can be. There's no way to. Uh, I don't know what I'm trying to say is is I can be that gentle giant. That God wants me to be, you know. It all starts with uh, you got to find you, you got to find your place, you know. And my place is is being gentle with these children. It says, "Let your gentleness be known to all men, for the Lord is coming soon." Be anxious for nothing. You know, if you have anxiety, you know, and and, and you always want more and more and more. Be anxious for nothing, but pray for everything. You know, whatever you go through throughout the day, pray for it. You know, when you're at work, when you're at home, when you're at school, when when you're ministering to other people, when you're ministering to your family, you know, when 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 you're in the restroom, you know, anywhere you are, let God know that you know He's there. Let your gentleness be known to all men. The Lord is coming soon. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer. And supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God. Let your request be made known to Him. No, God listens. God may not give you what you want at your time, but He's going to give you exactly what you need. You know, um, it says, Let your request be made known to God in the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding. And the peace of God, God's peace, Surpasses all understanding. 
It will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. You know, when we start focusing our minds on things that are above instead of things that are on earth, you know, the peace of God's gonna going to flow through you and it's going to keep your mind from wandering to that dark place. It's going to keep your heart from, from loving things that aren't of Christ. It's going to keep you in check from, uh, from falling victim to, uh, to the devil's schemes. You know, it's going gonna, it's gonna to keep you from falling victim to, to your old ways. You know, we, we keep our minds on things that are good, things that are true, things that are pure. It says here in verse 8, Finally, brethren, whatever things are true, whatever things are noble, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are admirable, whatever things are of good report, if there is any virtue, and if there is anything praiseworthy, meditate on these things. Think about this. They could be your kids. It could be your, your job. You know, magnify your, your job. Just thank God for your job and, and, and use your job as a tool for you to lift up the Lord's name. You know, think about the life that you used to live before you met Christ. You know, and, and don't dwell on, on, on the, the negativity, but think about when he took you out of that pit. That's something to meditate on, is that joy that you felt when you no longer had to smoke on that pipe. You know, that joy that you felt when you woke up the next morning and you never had a, a desire to drink from that bottle. You know, or whatever your sin was, you know, that Christ has took you out of. Rejoice and meditate on the fact that he took you out of it. You know, I struggled for so many years. I, I know you guys always hear me say about this. But God bringing me out of the pit of my addiction is something to rejoice about. It's something that I need to meditate on. That I have based my life on that God saved a sinner such as me. You know, um, that God saved me. If he saved me, he can save you. It says, the things that you learned and received and heard and saw in me, these do, and the God of peace will be with you. You know, we have examples out there, brothers and sisters who are, who are walking the walk, who are talking the talk. You no, know, I have people that I look up to. I look up to my pastor. I looked up to Sister Sharon. I, looked up, I look up to Brother Felix. I, there's a lot of members in my church who I look up to because they are succeeding in life. You know, they are continuing to uh, to push forward in Christ, even through those hard times. We just read in Romans chapter 4 that uh, to rejoice in tribulation. You know, um, I used to only pray God, pray to God when I was in the back of a cop car. You know, when I, when I was locked up or when I was going to court and facing time, I would always only pray to him then. And then when I got my way... I would completely forget about him. You know, but we need to continue to praise him no matter what. Praise him in everything you do. Not only in the good times, but like Jesus said, that he says uh, hard times are coming. You know, and I need to stand firm in my faith in Christ and praise him through those storms. You know, because those, those hard times are coming. That's why it says to keep your mind on things that are pure. Keep your mind on things that are trustworthy. Keep your mind on things that are, that are praiseworthy. Keep your mind on things that are of good report. You know, and, 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 and God will guard your, your heart and your mind. And he will continue to teach you the right way of doing things. Someone just pulled up at my house. Uh, I don't really know who that is. Uh, but uh, set your mind on, on good things. Set your mind on things of the Lord. Set your mind on 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 the things that uh that Christ has has put in your life. You know the blessings, the blessings are are coming every day. You know there's there's little things in my life that uh, I get to rejoice about. I get to meditate on. You know and, and it far out exceeds the uh, the negative that has been in my life. So I just continue to uh, encourage you. To meditate on good things. Stop thinking about the bad. There's another verse in uh, 
Proverbs 18.21, it says, death and life are in the power of the tongue. You know, the words that you speak have, a, have an effect on your life. If you're speaking positive things, you're going to reap in positive benefits. If you speak negative things, best believe you're going to reap those negative, that negative outcome. And the same goes with our thoughts. You know, let's start thinking about things that are good, things that are pure, things that are holy, things that are, that are above where Christ is seated. You know, and God will surely move into your life. It says, and the God of peace will be with you. You know, the God of peace. God is love, yes. His love will overflow you. But the God of peace, the God of peace, that peace will overflow you. And you will find peace within your mind. Peace within your heart. Peace within your relationships. Peace within your family. Peace within your job. Peace within everything you do. So, brothers and sisters, I just encourage you to don't be anxious about nothing. But in everything, by prayer and supplication, cry out to God. God is listening. God wants you to come to Him with a pure heart. You know, um, if you if you you know what I'm gonna rephrase that. God wants you to come to you as you are. God wants you to come to Him as you are. You know, when He will give you that pure heart. You know, He will give you that. Uh, that that sound mind and, and, and that comfort and that relaxation that you need by you knowing that you are forgiven, by you knowing that God is real. You know, so today just uh focus on things that are good in your life. You know, it's okay to look at the past, but look at where God brought you out of. You know, and you will surely be blessed. So, you guys have a good day. God bless. I'll see you next time.